So welcome back to another video on vectors. So now here we'll be looking strictly at what it means for a particle, say a movement of a ball, to be exactly due north or south or east of another position vector. And how do we calculate that? Well, let's take this example that I presented here. So suppose we, we use a ball as a particle. So the movement of the ball and this position vector is given by this. So 3 plus 4ti plus 2 plus 90j. So this is where the ball would be at some time t. So if it was, as, if it was, if it was at time 0 at starting point, t would be 0 and it would, it would be at 3i plus 2j. If it was at another time, well, this would be the equation to, to define it. And we, we suppose we want to know that the ball is going to be some position due whatever ahead of this field B. So picture this like this. Suppose the ball is over here. It's been traveling but it landed here. And, it, and we know that we can say that it's perfectly due north of the field F or field B. So the ball A is here. It's due north of field B. So how do we calculate this? Well, notice firstly... That is in line with it. So we can say straight away that we're going to not consider the east angle. Because we know that at, at east point, we know straight away that the value here must be 29i. But we don't know what the value of here would be. So to work this out, if we're trying to find due north, we, we look at where we are firstly. What, what time we're at. So let's match up these two equations. So we, first we match up 29 equals 3 plus 40. We calculate the time here, plug into here, then we know exactly what position we are due north. This j would be how far you are ahead of b. So solving this one, what do we have? Subtracting 3, we get 26 equals 40. Dividing by 4, we should get t equals 6.5. So suppose this was in seconds, because I don't, I can't picture the ball moving at 6.5 hours to get to one place. I have to, I have to go travel around the whole world and stuff. But yeah, so, so this would be the value of t. At this point, so when t is 6.5, where are we exactly at j? Well, at j, t is at 2 plus 9 times 6.5, and this, my friend, should give you 60.5. So let me write it down 60.5. And suppose it probably meters, I guess, because the board, I'm just thinking, of, you know, realistically where the board will be. So this is what it's trying to say that at some position this is at 60.5 j and here this is at 12 j so this is the ij map we can see that's exactly taking the difference 48.5 meters apart so yeah that's pretty much how you break it down and again you can apply the same logic to due east due south due west 